Hey, how's it going? Hope you're ready for a pretty special chat today. You know, we all have those days when challenges seem bigger than mountains, right? But what if I told you that those very challenges could be the springboard for your greatest growth? Yep, that's right. So if you're looking for a little nudge to tackle life's waves, you've come to the right place. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, because together, we're going to explore these paths. Stick with me till the end of this video. I have a feeling you're going to discover something amazing about yourself. Ready to get started? Let's do this. The importance of standing strong in the face of challenges. In life, each of us faces challenges that can sometimes seem insurmountable. Marcus Aurelius, an emperor who was also a philosopher, teaches us something powerful. The obstacles in front of us are not just there to challenge us, but to show us a way forward. He believed that within difficulty lies opportunity. Thinking this way changes everything. When we face problems, it's as if we're standing in front of a puzzle. At first, it seems complicated, perhaps even impossible. But with patience and determination, we begin to fit the pieces together, one by one, until the picture starts to take shape. And the feeling of seeing that puzzle complete is incredible, isn't it? That's what Marcus Aurelius meant. Each challenge is a piece of the larger puzzle that is our life. We may not understand where each piece fits at the moment, but each one has its place and its importance. And when we overcome an obstacle, it's as if we've found the right place for one of those complicated pieces. Now, imagine that each time you overcome a challenge, you're actually building a stronger version of yourself. As if each problem solved, each obstacle overcome, gives you more strength, more confidence. So the next time you face a challenge, remember, it's not a sign to stop. It's actually a sign that you're on the right path. It's an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become even stronger. Now I want you to think about something that's challenging you right now. See it not as an insurmountable wall, but as a door. A door that, when opened, will bring you closer to who you can become. Is it hard? It might be. But is it possible? Absolutely. Remember, you have within you everything you need to face whatever comes your way. Each challenge is an opportunity to prove to yourself what you're capable of. So take a deep breath, step forward and face it. The path ahead is yours to tread. And believe me, you're ready for it. Focusing on yourself and practicing stoic virtues. When we talk about seeking a fulfilling and meaningful life, there's a principle that shines like a guiding star in our journey focusing on yourself and practicing stoic virtues. These ideas, stemming from ancient wisdom, still resonate with surprising clarity in today's world. They invite us to look inward, to recognize the immense power that lies in our ability to choose, to act with wisdom, courage, and temperance. Life, with all its ups and downs, offers us a stage where we can practice these virtues daily. But what does this really mean? Simply put, it means living consciously, choosing our actions based on what is right and good, not just for ourselves, but for others around us. It means acknowledging our fears and facing them with courage, finding balance in our desires and passions, and seeking wisdom to differentiate what we can change from what we cannot. This path is not about grand gestures or monumental achievements. It's about the small choices we make every day. It's about how we respond to traffic, how we treat our co-workers, how we manage our time and energy. Every moment is an opportunity to practice virtue, to be the best version of ourselves. But how do we maintain focus on ourselves without getting lost in selfishness? This is where stoic wisdom shines. It teaches us to understand what is within our control. We may not have power over external events, but we have complete mastery over how we react to them. This understanding frees us, 
allowing us to accept what is beyond our reach and focusing on what we can truly change. Our actions, our responses, our thoughts. The invitation is for a deep dive into self-awareness, recognizing our weaknesses and working to turn them into strengths. It's an invitation to live authentically, seeking not the approval of others, but the inner peace that comes from living according to our deepest values. Imagine then what your life would be like if every day you practiced a little more courage, facing your fears. What if you sought balance, saying no to excess and yes to what truly matters? And what if every day you strove to learn something new, to expand your understanding of the world and yourself? These are the questions that, by asking them, we begin the true journey toward a fulfilling and meaningful life. It's not a journey that is completed overnight, but rather a path that unfolds with every conscious step we take. Wisdom. So let's talk about something that, believe it or not, makes a huge difference in the way we live. Our power of choice. You know, it's fascinating to realize that even when everything around seems out of control, we still hold the reins of something very important. How we react to all of it. Now think about how many times you found yourself worried about things that, in the end, were completely out of your reach. The weather, what others think, and how often did that really help? But here's the interesting thing. Even when we can't change a situation, we can always choose our attitude towards it. This is something practical, not just a nice idea. It's about taking a moment to think, okay, this is happening, I can't change it, but how can I deal with this in the best way possible? This isn't about ignoring problems, but rather facing them with a mindset that puts us in charge of our reactions. And what about getting to know yourself? Oh, that's quite a journey. It's like becoming a detective of your own life, observing, learning about what really motivates you, what makes you react in a certain way. And believe me, the more you know yourself, the more you understand about how to navigate in this world. Now here's the cherry on top. All this helps us live more harmoniously. It's not about fighting against the world, but finding your place in it, discovering how you can contribute positively, whether for yourself or for others. So how about this challenge? The next time something doesn't go as planned, instead of stressing out, ask yourself, how can I deal with this in a constructive way? And who knows, before long, you might start getting to know yourself a little better, discovering new ways to face life. Courage, that word sounds big, doesn't it? But you don't need to think of it only as something for superheroes or moments of great danger. Courage is something we live in our daily lives. It's that strength that gets us out of bed on difficult mornings, that pushes us to try something new, face a problem or admit a mistake. You see, facing adversity, the unknown, our own limitations and failures, that takes a lot of courage. And I'm not just talking about facing a great fear. I'm talking about the day-to-day, -day, the little things like when we decide to tell the truth, even knowing it might not be what the other person wants to hear, or when we stop and look inside ourselves, acknowledging our own mistakes and learning from them. Having courage is also knowing that we will face challenges and difficulties, but choosing to stand firm. It's like when we know the road ahead is tough, but we decide to move forward because somehow we feel it's the right thing to do. It's not easy. Sometimes it may even feel like we're swimming against the current. But that's exactly where courage shines. You know, courage is not the absence of fear. It's about what we do even when we're afraid. It's that inner voice that tells us, yes, this is scary, but I am stronger than my fear. And that, my friend, is powerful. It transforms us. It makes us grow. Think about the opportunities that courage brings us. Every time we face something with courage, we're giving ourselves the chance to demonstrate our virtue, to become better. And that's amazing, because with every challenge we face, every time we overcome our fears, we grow, 
We become stronger, more resilient. So how about looking at courage in a new way? Not as something reserved for big moments, but as a constant presence in our lives. A force that propels us to live more authentically, to face our fears and to grow from them. And remember, courage doesn't mean doing everything alone. Asking for help is also an act of courage. Admitting that we don't know something and wanting to learn more is courage. So let's take courage into our daily lives, face our challenges, learn from our failures and grow from them. Because in the end, that's what moves us forward. If you're finding value in our content, please subscribe and leave a comment. Did you know that only 7% of our channel viewers have subscribed? So help me spread this wisdom further. Let's continue. A temperance. In a world where excess seems to be the norm, where the relentless pursuit of more keeps us further and further from happiness, an ancient yet incredibly relevant concept emerges. Temperance. Yes, this term might remind us of dusty books and philosophies of old, but it holds a powerful secret to a full and balanced life. Temperance. Sounds like a complex word, doesn't it? But in truth, its meaning is simple and profoundly transformative. It's about self-control, moderation, balance in everything we do. Picture your life as a boat sailing through the ocean. Temperance is the rudder that allows us to maintain our course, avoiding extremes, be they storms of excess or doldrums of deprivation. The Stoics, masters of antiquity, saw in this principle not just a virtue, but the path to happiness. They teach us that living in harmony with nature, understanding and accepting the world as it is, allows us to manage our desires and avoid the excesses that so often divert us from true satisfaction. But how do we apply temperance to our daily lives? Start small. In the food we choose, the time we spend on social media, the way we work and rest. It's a constant exercise of asking ourselves, is this really necessary? Am I seeking this for momentary pleasure or does it contribute to my long-term happiness? The beauty of temperance lies in its simplicity. It's not about deprivation but about finding the balance point that allows us to fully enjoy life without falling into the trap of more, more, and more. It's about understanding that often, very little is needed to make a happy life, as Stoic wisdom reminds us. And here's the invitation temperance offers us to experience life in a fuller, more conscious, and ultimately more satisfying way. By practicing self-control, by seeking balance, we open space in our lives for more authentic happiness, for a contentment that doesn't depend on the swings of momentary desires, but springs from a deep understanding of who we are and what we truly value. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out. Acquire now the ebook Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Acceptance of the present and self-control. Living in the present moment and maintaining self-control are like holding the helm steady at sea. Life, with its twists and turns, sometimes seems to test our patience and our ability to remain calm. The reality is this, things happen that are beyond our control. But here's the secret. What we can truly control are our own reactions and attitudes. This isn't about surrendering or being passive. It's about taking the reins of how we respond to what life presents us. Accepting reality as it is can sound difficult. After all, who enjoys facing tough times or unwanted situations? But think of it this way, fighting against what we cannot change is like trying to stop the wind. It's futile and only wears us out. On the other hand, focusing on what is within our power, our actions, our thoughts, our attitudes, is where our true strength lies. This is the heart of self-control. 
recognizing that, although we cannot control everything around us, we have power over the most important thing, ourselves. And that is an incredible source of freedom. Knowing that, no matter what happens out there, you can choose your response in here. This gives you an unshakable peace of mind and a strength that nothing can undermine. So the next time you encounter something frustrating or challenging, remember that your reaction is your choice. Take a deep breath, step back and ask yourself, can I control this? If the answer is no, accept it and focus on what you can change. If it's yes, then you know what to do. This active and conscious acceptance not only brings peace, but also empowers us to live more fully and purposefully. It's not easy, of course, but like everything in life, it's a practice. The more we practice accepting the present and exercising self-control, the more skilled we become at navigating life with grace, determination, and above all, peace of mind. And that, my friends, is a powerful way to live. Self-examination and the power of the mind. Let's talk about a powerful tool that we all have but often overlook, self-examination. This process is nothing more than taking an honest look at ourselves, our thoughts, actions, and emotions. It's like pausing for a moment amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life to check the map and see if we're still on the right path. Now, why is this so important? Because without this moment of pause and reflection, it's easy to get lost. We might end up following a path that wasn't truly what we wanted. Self-examination helps us notice when we're acting on impulse, when our emotions are taking the wheel and steering us away from our values and virtues. Moreover, reflecting on ourselves shows how powerful our minds are, the way we perceive the world around us, how we react to challenges, it all starts in our heads. If we learn to control our perceptions and reactions, we gain enormous influence over our life experience. This doesn't mean ignoring feelings or pretending that problems don't exist. It means recognizing that, although we can't control everything that happens to us, we have complete control over how we respond to these situations. So, how about starting to practice self-examination today? It doesn't have to be complicated. Set aside a few minutes of your day to reflect on your attitudes and emotions. Ask yourself, is this aligned with who I want to be? If it's not, you've just found an area to grow and improve. Meditation and mindfulness. Let's dive straight into the heart of the matter. Transformation begins in the mind. Have you ever realized the power you have simply by deciding where to direct your thoughts and emotions? This is where self-examination and the incredible power of meditation and mindfulness come in. These are not just ancient practices or trendy topics. They are revolutionary tools at your disposal, ready to be used in your daily life to achieve greater control and inner peace. First, understand that self-examination is the key to self-awareness. Ask yourself, what are my values? Am I living in accordance with them? This ongoing reflection is what allows us to grow, to identify where we can improve, and most importantly, to align our actions with our deepest beliefs. Do not underestimate the power of taking a moment to truly reflect on your life. This can be the turning point between living on autopilot and taking control of the helm of your life. Now, let's talk about meditation and mindfulness. Have you noticed how our minds sometimes seem like a turbulent sea of thoughts and worries? Imagine if you could calm that sea. Wouldn't that be incredibly powerful? Meditation teaches us just that, to sit with our thoughts, observe them without judgment, and gradually learn to bring them to a state of calm and clarity. It's not about emptying the mind but understanding that you are not your thoughts. You are the observer, capable of choosing which thoughts deserve your energy and which can simply pass like clouds in the sky. Mindfulness brings us to the present moment, the only place where life truly happens.
By practicing it, you begin to notice the small wonders of everyday life, those that often go unnoticed. Each breath becomes an opportunity to be truly alive. Each task, no matter how trivial, a chance to be fully engaged. So here's the invitation. See life as a series of present moments, each with the potential to be lived fully. Let self-examination be your guide, meditation your fortress, and mindfulness your lens to see the world. By doing this, you will discover an inner strength that you may never have known you possessed. And with this strength, you can not only face life's challenges, but truly thrive, finding peace and satisfaction in the now, resilience and acceptance of impermanence. The truth is that life is a series of ups and downs, of fleeting moments that shape us, challenge us, and eventually teach us the true essence of inner strength. This strength, this inner resilience, is what allows us to face life's headwinds not as the end of the journey, but as integral parts of the path we pave day after day. At the heart of this journey lies the acceptance of impermanence, a stoic truth that teaches us to embrace the transience of everything around us. Everything changes, everything evolves, and instead of resisting this reality, we can choose to accept it, learning to appreciate each moment with greater depth and meaning. When we accept that nothing is permanent, we begin to reduce our attachment to things beyond our control, focusing our energy and attention on what we can truly influence, our attitudes, our reactions, our personal growth. See adversity not as a dead end, but as an invitation to development, a chance to strengthen your character and broaden your understanding of yourself and the world. Every challenge faced is a lesson learned. Every obstacle overcome is a step on the ladder of your personal evolution. Practicing inner resilience is also learning to find peace within yourself, regardless of external storms. It is knowing that despite life's changes and uncertainties, you possess an inner fortress, a center of calm and serenity that no external adversity can shake. That is the true power of resilience, the ability to remain intact and at peace, even when the world around you seems to crumble. So I encourage you to see each day, each moment, as a precious opportunity for growth and learning. Make room for impermanence in your life and let it teach you to value the present moment with greater intensity, to live each day with purpose and gratitude. For in the acceptance of life's transience, we discover the indelible beauty of the present and build a resilience that accompanies us strong and steady every step of the way. Daily Stoic Practices for Personal Growth In the calm of a waking morning, before the world awakens to its endless noise and tumult, envision yourself for a moment at the center of a universe awaiting your light. No, I don't ask you to imagine, but to feel this connection with the dawn of a new day. This is the moment to arm yourself with intentions, those silent choices that paint the day with the colors of your soul. Start by nourishing your spirit with acts of kindness, as small as helping someone without expecting anything in return or as simple as offering a smile. These acts, though they may seem tiny, are the foundations of an unshakable inner fortress. Throughout the day, practice the art of moderation. Ah, moderation, that skill of walking the tightrope between too much and too little, deliberately choosing not to be swept away by the currents of excess that, though tempting, often lead us away from what is truly essential. And as the evening approaches, when the sun sets, painting the sky orange and pink, dedicate a moment to reflection. It is the perfect moment to leaf through the pages of your day, not with the critical eye of a judge, but with the curiosity of a learner, ask yourself, what have I learned today? Each day brings with it lessons, some as clear as crystal, others hidden between the lines of our experiences. I also encourage you to keep a gratitude journal, 
Ah, this powerful habit that transforms our focus, helping us see not only the glass half full, but overflowing with blessings. In it, record not only moments of joy, but also challenges, for even in adversity there is beauty and lessons. This path we tread, guided by stoic principles, does not promise the absence of storms, but the strength to navigate through them. It teaches us to value what we have, to accept what we cannot change, and to have the wisdom to distinguish between the two. And thus, in the cycle of sunrise and sunset, we cultivate an inner garden of peace, strength, and gratitude. These practices, day after day, become the brushstrokes with which we paint the canvas of our lives, a painting that reflects not only who we are, but who we aspire to be. The Stoic journey, walking the path of Stoicism, is choosing a less traveled trail, a path of introspection, resilience, and deep understanding of oneself and the world around. It's not a journey for the faint-hearted, for it demands an unwavering commitment to self-analysis, a courageous confrontation of discomforts and adversities, not as insurmountable obstacles, but as steps toward invaluable personal growth. Imagine yourself as a solitary sailor navigating the stormy waters of existence. You fear neither the waves nor the storms, for you know that true serenity lies not in the absence of challenges, but in the ability to face them with courage, virtue, and equanimity. This is the heart of Stoicism, finding joy and satisfaction not in ephemeral pleasures and external recognition, but in the rich tapestry of a life lived with purpose, acceptance, and self-control. Living by Stoic principles means embracing life in all its facets, recognizing that true happiness and fulfillment emanate from a commitment to virtue, to doing what is right, regardless of the storms that may come. This does not mean denying emotions or difficulties, but facing them with fortitude of spirit, with the understanding that our power lies in how we respond to life's vicissitudes. The Stoic journey does not promise paths covered in flowers or a sea of calm. On the contrary, it prepares us to walk on sharp stones and navigate rough seas, equipped with the wisdom that at the heart of every challenge, there is an opportunity to learn, grow, and refine the essence of who we are. Entering this path is accepting an invitation to a life of purpose, where each moment is a chance to practice gratitude, detachment, courage, and justice. It's an invitation to live authentically and truthfully, aligned with the highest values of existence in a constant pursuit of the best version of oneself. Thus, while the Stoic journey may seem daunting, it is immensely rewarding. It offers an unshakable peace a serenity that comes from the certainty of living a life full of meaning, an existence marked by moral integrity and positive contribution to the world around. In this journey, we learn that true wealth is not found in the accumulation of goods or in the incessant pursuit of superficial pleasures, but in the simplicity of a life lived with virtue, dignity and love. If you enjoyed taking this step with us, then don't forget to subscribe to continue your evolution. I am grateful for you to have reached this far until the next video.